You're watching Fort Walton Beach Wellness TV, a service of Fort Walton Beach Medical Center and the Patient Channel. One of the most common errors I see among people trying to quit is, is, is that really they haven't done any thinking about it. They haven't really done any thought on it. Their thoughts were, I'm going to quit on Tuesday, or I'm going to try to quit, and, and really that's the only effort that they've put into it. Researchers suggest that tobacco users prepare a detailed quit plan and look at the three aspects of addiction. Look at how you're going to deal with the physical aspect of addiction, the mental side of addiction, and the socio-cultural issues associated with this addiction. Heart attack patients are in a race against time. Paramedics rushed Allen to the hospital, where doctors immediately performed a procedure during cardiac catheterization to open his blocked arteries. Have a calf, that means you have a, a device or a tube put up in your heart, have the dye put in to see if the blockages are there, and then if there's something there, do something about it. Your health is a big deal. You wouldn't trust your life with just anyone. If you need emergency care, shouldn't you trust the emergency room that has the fastest wait times in town? Fort Walton Beach Medical Center's ER is equipped with state-of-the-art medical technology, lab services, and diagnostic imaging. With the only accredited chest pain and primary stroke centers in the Tri-County area, your health is in the best hands possible. Trust Fort Walton Beach Medical Center. You're watching Fort Walton Beach Wellness TV, a service of Fort Walton Beach Medical Center and the Patient Channel. Every year in the United States, more people die from hospital-acquired infections than from breast cancer, car accidents, and AIDS combined. So it's important to know how to protect yourself while in the hospital. Hands are the main way that we move bacteria from one, way, one place to another. And that's why hand washing is so important. If we do a good job of washing our hands, we can break the chain of transmission. We can stop carrying bacteria from one place to the next. When people come into a hospital room, they should always wash their hands. Well, hand washing and hand sanitation both prevent infections. The hand washing, actually the soap and the water, literally uh, pick up the bacteria and then wash them down the drain. The hand sanitizer, which has alcohol in it, kills the bacteria that are on the hand. As a parent, you're going to make a lot of decisions. Where you have your baby is an easy one. When choosing where to have your baby, shouldn't you trust the hospital that provides the highest standard in new mom and infant care? Fort Walton Beach Medical Center offers couplet care, easing transition of being a new parent, as well as a level two NICU that puts your little one's health in the best hands possible. Trust Fort Walton Beach Medical Center. The information contained on this channel is intended to make you a better informed patient. It is not a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. This information alone is not to be relied upon to determine the proper course of treatment. You should not modify, change, or discontinue any treatment in any way without first consulting your physician or healthcare provider. Neither the Wellness Network nor this hospital, its affiliates or staff shall have any liability to any person relating to the use or accuracy of the content. This channel is supported by product advertisements. The facility airing this channel and its affiliates and staff do not necessarily endorse or have any financial interest in the products advertised.